So you mentioned on uh, the multi-stage rockets uh, that maybe the dream would be uh, if we weren't living on Earth, but maybe we can on Earth, uh, to have a single stage uh, to orbit rocket where it's all one package, reusable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reusable gets even harder. It gets even harder. So first of all, what is, uh, just to linger on it, what what is the single stage to orbit rocket? And why is it so hard to achieve? On Earth, you already kind of explained it a little bit, but just if we were to say, like, yeah, that's your assignment. Yeah, Tim, you're supposed to get together with Elon and other brilliant people, and like, you have to do this. Yeah, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Um, it your the 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 payload fraction of a rocket is like three to five or six or seven percent would be like. Re- you know, that's the amount of payload compared to the total mass of the rocket. Like you're lucky to get into beyond 5%. So if you're now having to deal with the weight of the rocket by the time you're in orbit, like your, your payload fraction, just, you're, you're talking about like margins. It's such, it's so small amount of leftover if you have to take all of it with you. So the sooner you can ditch weight, the better. The sooner you can ditch weight, the better. The sooner you can, you know, and that's what you're doing. A rocket the whole time is actually ditching weight. Mm-hmm. All of that fuel, all of that big giant flame you see is literally mass being thrown out the back of the rocket. But what typically isn't expended, you know, at least during nominal operations, you're not seeing the engines being, you know, expelled out the thing until you get to staging, of course. And that's where, you know, you're ditching all that dead weight. So single stage to orbit, your margins just become so small that it it's border, it's not impossible. But it's just, it, at the end of the day, like almost no matter who you are, you end up saying it's just simply not worth it. Like it'd be, if you have two rockets that are using the same amount of propellant, you know, they're the same physical sizes and one of them is cut in, you know, on a third and has another little engine, it'll have a hundred or a thousand times more payload capacity yeah. than the one sitting right next to it. And now, so there's tricks you can do to like try to offset that. Things like aerospike engines, which operate at, uh, as efficiently at sea level, uh, you know, kind of optimized efficiency at sea level. And just by their, uh, by the way, they're designed the physics of them. They're also efficient in a vacuum too. Um, you can do the things like that. And at the end of the day though, you just end up with a worse rocket than if you had just done stage, like no matter what. And and people say like, well, what if you had developed a new technology? It's like, okay, well, apply that technology to a multi-stage rocket <laughs> and it's going to do better. You know, like no matter where you end up, it's just always better to ditch that weight, you know. Is there a cost to having multi-stage? Because you can still reuse the different stages. That's the the dream is you know it becomes easier to reuse multiple stages because now you know like the booster doesn't have to survive orbital reentry yeah. temperatures and, and extreme environments, and you only have to you know make survivable the upper stage. So you only have to put a big heat shield. I mean, Starship's the perfect perfect thing of this. The, the upper stage has a big giant heat shield. The booster doesn't need it because it's not going, the booster's not going to orbit. It's only going uh, a fifth or a quarter of orbital velocity. So it's heat that it experiences is, is survivable just by the stainless steel. You don't need an additional heat shield. Um, so th- all of a sudden, if you're trying to reuse, uh, pretend that you just welded the two stages of Starship together, remove those engines on Starship, that whole vehicle, if you're trying to reuse it, the whole vehicle now has to have a heat shield on one side of it. Yeah. The whole thing has to have these big, heavy wings. By the time you come down to it, there's probably just zero payload capacity. You basically put your fuel tank in space, you know? Good job. So the the dream of a single stage to orbit a rocket, is is that just even the wrong dream on Earth? That's what most convention tells you. You know, by the time, if, if, you're, you're, if your goal is cheap, then you're going to spend, you're gonna have a physically larger rocket that has more engines, that has more propellant, blah, 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 to put the same amount of thing, same amount of mass into orbit compared to something else. You know, we're talking like Rocket Lab's Electron, a really small rocket. It's like, I think 1.3 meters wide and something like, you know, 18 meters tall or something. It's, 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 it's a small rocket. If you were to, you know, the, and it can put something like 300 or so kilograms into orbit. You could either launch something that size or again, like a full, like big old Falcon 9 booster, the huge, huge thing. And that would be lucky to put 300 kilograms into orbit, you know? So it's like, which one's going to be cheaper to build, you know, ship around all the stuff. And then you also look at, you have fixed costs. Like the idea of flying a, but this is this, uh, again, everything in rocket science is a compromise because now you have things like um, people on console time, all the people that are, you know, 
on comms and working on the rocket, going down to the pad, you know, filing paperwork, doing range control, making sure there's not planes and boats in the way, uh, flight termination. You have all these fixed costs for any launch. I don't care how big the rocket is. There's a relatively fixed cost. So now you say like, okay, I'm going to be paying, well, let's just make a number. I'm going to pay $5 million to fly a rocket between all the people going on site, all the propellant, all the licenses, blah, blah, blah. If your fixed cost is $5 million and you can put 300 kilograms in space versus you have a $5 million cost of operation and you can put 5,000 kilograms into space, like it, it's, it's the business case is going to send you in one direction pretty quickly.